Hello everybody, my name is Mace, and this is the Ultimate 2D Trajectory Predictor Tutorial. Start it all off, we're just going to look at the project, what's included. We got animations, there's 18 animations for the... There is a lot of animations, there's like 20 animations in here. Help gesture and the trajectory. We got the demo scene, we got... um, This is nothing, like whatever. We got the prefabs which is included in this scene. I, well, if you're listening, I, you're probably already doing this, but if you're not, I highly recommend you start off with a demo scene. You got this readme, it just says a bunch of nonsense. It has the link to, uh, I forget what it has the link to. Uh, it has a link to my email, so if you wanna contact me. Oh, it's not a link really, but it has my email in there. Uh, Sprites. <laughs> These sprites I've created, so it's all right if I put include them. There's over 50 sprites. You can uh, change the sprite of the points and whatnot, and I'll get into that after. And here's the script. There's one script. So let's go to the prefabs. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to go into prefabs. I'm just going to drag and drop. Easy as that. Let's run it. Is it going to work? Of course, it's going to work as I did on the last video. Perfect. Now, this is what we're going to be going through in this tutorial. If you don't feel the need to watch all of it, I put links in the description for you to skip to wherever you feel that you uh, need to look over. So, next thing, we're going to go and look at the hierarchy. What do we got here? We got under the ball, we have a child ball click area. It is, uh, as you can see, Active in hierarchy, trajectory dots with all the dots, all are active in hierarchy. Uh, on the help gesture here, we'll drag that into. Here's the help gesture. It has a gesture pointer, a gesture ball under it as a child, and it is not active in hierarchy, and it has to be that way to work properly. Uh, the ball click area. The ball click area is used so that you're not uh, starting a shot when you're not. When you're not like, let's say you're clicking over here, you can hear me clicking and it's not uh, initiating the shot. And that's good because if you want to create a game where you're doing other stuff over here, like panning the screen or whatever, you don't shoot accidentally. So you come here, you click in this area, there's, there it is. If you want to change how big the area is, you go right here, enter the collider and it's not visible for some, oh, scene and you make it bigger or smaller, and then if you click in this area, it will start the drag. So I think that was good. That's good. Don't change the names of any of these in the hierarchy. The trajectory dots or the children ball or the children of the ball help or the children of the help gesture. Unless you're going to change the name in the script, you should not change it here. Because if you change it in the in here, in a script, it will not initialize it. Here it is. If you're going to change it there, you got to change it here. You got to change it here respectfully. Otherwise it won't work properly. And, oh, let me just show you that again in case it wasn't big enough. Cause some people like it big. Here you go. Customization. You can change the individual points. As you can see, the last point is different from these ones by just going in here on each specific point. As you can see, I created like a pattern cloud one. Cloud 2, Cloud 3, Cloud 4, Cloud 5, Cloud 1, whatever. And then the last cloud, which is Cloud 19, or you could just click it here even. You could select it. And then if you want to change some of the properties, here you go. As an example, here you go. That's pretty crappy. That is better. Um, there you go. Just to change some of the properties. You could do that for each individual point. If you want to change the animation, for example, right now, I'm just going to go back because I don't like this. If you look at this animation, it's shaken. If you don't like to shake it, you can go right here. Trajectory dots. Animator. There it is. And here you got 18 animations to choose from. I'm going to choose this one. Just right click on one, set as the layer default state. If you want to have multiple weapons or something, or if you want to have like multiple 
different things. Like let's say you have a grenade in your game, you have a sniper, whatever. You can come here and you could, um, you know, create a transition to another one and then set a boolean and whatever. That's a, another tutorial. I'm pretty sure you already know you're pretty smart. You can change the speed too if you want to be faster or slower. That's it. Let's go. I changed the animation. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. Beautiful. That looks amazing. I love it. Next. We're going to look at the settings now right here. Yeah, my Mac is getting pretty loud. I hope it's not too loud. So here we go. As you can see, the script is attached to the ball. We're going to go down this list. We got dot sprite. It's empty. If it's empty, the sprites, uh, the, the points on the trajectory will remain what they are uh, here. If it's not empty, for example, if I go here and I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Sprites, dots. No, we'll go back here. I'm gonna put uh, one of these. I'm just gonna put this, whatever. There. Now when I run it, all of them are gonna become that. So if you don't want all of them to become that, you're gonna have to do them individually there. If you want all of them to become that, then you can change it here. So for example, in a game, if you're swapping between, like I said again, uh, whatever, a grenade and a sniper or something, come here. Yeah, I mean, you could change it in your script. You could change it like if, if grenade equals, if using grenade equals true, blah, blah, blah. Next, change sprite after start. So if you're not going to uh, change the sprite, like if you're going to just set it to one thing, the whole scene, whether it be like this, where it's all customized or one sprite for every single point, then turn this off. If you're going to change it at all in a scene, turn this on and then you could, uh, you could, uh, write the script to, uh, change the dot sprite value. And then these will automatically change accordingly. Initial dot size. That's all this is, is when you press, when the scene starts, it's going to change the size of the trajectory dot X and Y value, the scale to that. Once the scene starts, it's going to be one. If you want to change it after the scene starts, change the trajectory dots game object local scale in your script. Number of dots. That is the number, obviously, of dots. So you could go up to 40. Dot separation is the space between the dots. If you make them like that, we'll check it out. It's going to be tighter together and we'll bring it up. And it's going to be further apart. That's it. Beautiful. And dot shift, that is um, the distance of the first point from the ball. So the purpose of this is so that the first point doesn't overlap with the ball because I don't, I don't like, let's make it zero. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like the way that looks. I like this. I like it like that. If you make it negative, you get a weird effect. If you like that, if that's, if that's the stuff, then there you go. Idle time is the amount of time it takes for the help gesture to show up. So that's the amount of time it takes for the player to be inactive for this to show up. We'll demonstrate this. Using help gesture has to be on and help gesture has to be in the hierarchy. Here we go. We're going to be inactive for, it was set to seven. I should have made it. Oh, it was like two, right? Yeah, two. There we go. Two seconds passes. This comes up. It shows you how to do this. I click here. I start playing. I stop playing. One, two. There it is. Also, uh, the, what's it called? The help gesture is very, you could customize it right here. Uh, there's an animation. You go, you just click on it. Command six, if you are on Mac, if you're not, I don't know what it is. Sorry. Go here. Animation. It is on idle. Go to the help one. Here is the initial. Change this to whatever you want it to be when it's not clicked. Just look down here. When it is clicked, oh, when it is clicked, you can see that there's like a little uh, circle around the fingertip. 
I think that makes it easier for the player to understand what's happening. So you could add two sprites, not clicked right here, clicked right here for which, whatever style you want it to be. And then back to not click, not click. Here's the sprite for this one. Where's the other one? Oh, it doesn't want to have one. All right. The other one, the ball doesn't have one, but like you might not want to have a blue, I mean a white ball. You might want to have like a basketball if you have a basketball game. So you go over here, change the sprite to a basketball, just like that. The basketball is right there. Shooting power X and Y, that's how much uh, power you're able to put on the ball. See, it's five. So let's say if I pull on a 45 degree angle, the ball will initially be traveling at a 45 degree angle. Put one here, I put 10 here. Now it's like that, because the X is one, that means I have to pull a lot more in the X to get uh, like a reasonable amount of power. Whereas Y is 10, so I could like barely, well not barely, but I could like move it not nearly as far down and it will go really far, so. You know, just to put it into contrast, here's both of them one. Look, it's like it doesn't go anywhere. Like, why? Why? Make them both 10. You already know what's going to happen. There you go. You got it's a lot of power. As you can see, you can change all of these except for initial dot size after the, I mean, the, um, yeah, initial dot size doesn't matter. And number of dots you can change from here down during uh, the game. And it will work basically is what I'm saying that you change the shooting power. Let's say you have multiple different weapons, change it in the script. It will change here. Look, I made them both negative. Is it going to shoot still in the direction? Cause you can see it's dragging in the same direction that I'm dragging. I mean, it's aiming in the same direction that I'm dragging. So yes, yes, it will. Using help gesture. If you're using the help gesture, it has to be on. If you decide I hate the help gesture and mace, it just wasted its time making it. You want to take it out? Guess what? You're going to get an error because you have this on. You got to turn this off. If you don't want to use it, get that out of there, the hierarchy, because you don't need it there. It won't get an error. Explode enabled. I will do that in a second. Grab while moving. It's off. So if you want to make like a golf style game, like Halloween golf, which is a game that I made that you should probably go and check out because it's, you know, it'll help me out a lot. You know, you should probably you know, check it out. So if you're using, making a game like Halloween golf where, you know, you can't take shot while the ball is moving, you gotta wait for it to stop. Keep that off. Look, I don't know if you heard me clicking, but I'll do it again because here we go. See, I was clicking on a lot. I was clicking a lot and it didn't do anything because grab while moving was off. Turn it on, look what happens. You shoot, I could grab it out of the air and I could shoot, just like that. I'm being so lame. Like I'm not usually this lame, but I just, I don't know why I feel the need to be lame. Dots, you should never touch dots. You should never mess with dots. Dots should just, you know, just chill down here untouched if it doesn't work if something goes wrong just know this has to be 40 this can be anything this has to be 40 all of these don't matter this just has to be 40 that's it i was going to show you explode enabled i'm going to show you explode enabled in another scene here we go explode enabled is off i'll show you what happens you already know what happens you saw it in oh my god here we go i'm retarded there we go. Nothing happens. I need to change this. I need to change this. Make this like five. All right. As you saw, explode enabled is not thing. Here we go. Explode enabled is on. Where's the script? Here it is. Under the explode function. Right here I wrote, insert what happens when blah, blah, blah. This is where you copy and paste, or you don't, I do. This is where you put the code for what you want to, oh, it's already there. This is where you put the code for what you want to happen when the ball reaches the last point, and I'll explain that in a second. Here it is. 
explode and neighbor goes on, you don't have to make things explode, but this is just to demonstrate. Holy moly, what the heck. Let's make this three. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. I'm going to put my cursor as close to... Uh, look what happens. Pew! You see that? It blew up because I wrote in the script for it to blow up there, right here. You could put whatever you want here. As you saw, the ball reached the last point of the trajectory and it did what I wrote there. But here's another example. I'm going to shoot it at the ground. You can't even see where the last point is because it's in the ground. It will never reach there because it's in the ground and the ball can't go through the ground. But look, boom, it so blows up. Why? Because it will blow up or do the function for as long as it would have took the ball to reach the last point. One more time, let me try to explain it again. If the ball reaches that last point, it will explode. But let's see, there was a big wall between the ball and the point and the ball will never reach the point, it will blow up in the time it takes for the bomb to reach that point, the time it takes. So, that much time. The last thing is, um, or one of the last things is, the, the dots, the trajectory dots, the ball's center of mass uh, goes through the center of the sprite of the trajectory dots. If you choose an animation, so we're gonna go back to the demo scene. You see how these are all different sizes? If you choose an animation, like I showed you before, we're gonna go here, and let's say we're gonna choose an animation like this, which changes the scale. If we choose an animation that changes the scale, all of the points will become the same size. See, that doesn't look very nice. Look at the last one looks so small you probably can't even see it that's why i'm gonna zoom in see how small it is that's not nice so if you're gonna do that i would say avoid using one of these use use this one instead this one's pretty sick check it out all right beautiful thank you for purchasing the ultimate 2d trajectory predictor I hope this tutorial helped you and i hope it was uh, shorter than 35 minutes because the last one was if it helped you, I would really appreciate it if you could press the like button and leave me a comment on how I did because this is my first uh, tutorial. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. Just, th just thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hope, hope I could help. Email me if you need any help. You know, I would. You know, I'll be glad. I'll be glad to help you. Email me. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. At Mace Berehi. Follow me. I post cool things. You Just follow me. Let me know. Let me know. I, I would appreciate it. Let me know that you got this. You got this. I'll, I'll, thank you. Thank you. Send me your game that you use this and send it. You know, I'd love to see it. I'd love, I would, five stars, five stars. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya. Thank you.